All right, so we can uh, have open discussion. Francesco, back on the vlog, which, by the so, way, I have the vlog. The vlog episode comes out 31st. Um, go I check it out. I can show you on YouTube, too. But um, anyway, so, yeah, you said summer. You have, like, summer break in... in uh, yeah, annually. Okay. So, I mean, what, are, what are you gonna plan on? What do you like? What do you plan on doing? Like while you're out there, like back home and stuff for the summertime, are you gonna like try to like get like a your YouTube uh, channel popping again, or like or at least getting that back to what you know what I mean? Getting like starting back up on your YouTube channel again. I have like um, a sea house, so mm -hmm. typically I'm gonna go there with my friends. Okay. And like I will probably like make some vlogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And stuff like that, and I'm gonna play basketball because it's okay. the sport I like. Mm -hmm. And work on my shooting for Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll probably like work on some vlogs and maybe some special effect like the one we're working now in mm -hmm. After Effect. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's it. Cool. I mean, yeah, because I mean, definitely, man. So like, the biggest you know advice that I can give for sure, like, and I wish when, when I was your age, I wish that I would have did this more. Like when I like when I was your age, I didn't like I knew I, I knew film was always in the back of my mind that I wanted to do. It's just that I never was like, all right, this is gonna be, I didn't think it was gonna be my like career. I think this is like literally what I was gonna do. Yeah. So like, I'm thinking my, yeah, so you'll basically be like a senior back in Italy, right? Yeah, I'm Yeah. So my junior year going, being like in the summertime going to senior year, I was playing football. So that's the only thing I was really <laughs> like on. Uh, and a lot of dumb, dumb stuff, you know, <laughs> I probably did in the summertime with my friends or something, but like, Take the time <clears throat> now while you're while you're young, while you have the opportunity to learn more stuff. Take the time now to like go out and start messing around with uh, you know Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, all that stuff because literally all that is gonna be what's gonna help you like learn a lot more mm -hmm. about you know stuff early on, especially when you get like say you get that opportunity to go to USC like you want to do, like when you already have a little bit of knowledge, not not like not knowledge. To where it, you're like you're very like egotistical because I remember when I went to Full Sail like you know I didn't know much about like the editing softwares or so much about like After Effects all I really knew was like stuff about directing and a little stuff about cameras but like there's tons of people who I met when I went to Full Sail who they they instantly kind of thought they knew everything right off the bat you know and it's like you know you got you got the teachers and, and all these all these other people saying like look man you don't know it you need to you know don't be egotistical that kind of stuff so uh -huh. but at the same time it's good for you to already have a grasp on a little bit of, uh, on some things you know um, before you actually get to school and you know before they start to teach you these things like oh I, I knew that but oh I didn't know that it was like this instead of like you know that kind of thing um so start like literally in the summertime, man. Do you have a camera, by the way? I was I never asked that. Do you have a camera? Uh, I have an um, a reflex reflex. How do you call it? Reflex. Reflex. Ca like a reflex. Canon? Is it a Canon uh, it's a camera? Canon. Yeah, okay. It's a Canon. Is it like? It's not like. Uh, damn, my camera's in my bag over there. But it's not like. Is it like a big like a DSLR camera, small? Yes, or? it's a big one. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, that's like uh, definitely now. Since you have that, I mean, that's like like I said like I said before like. Literally, that's your like kind of your camera you can use to start filming whatever you want. You know, what I mean, your vlogs, uh, any little like short films or videos that you do, like that's what you could you know use to start. All right, cool. So the buff nerds thing is in here. Oh, thank you. Yep. And um, this, remember this, like literally, it'll show you. This is like shout out to Jacob Owens, buff nerds. Um, but like literally, this is his guide to like like you know video and business. And literally, this thing will help you learn. This, this right here is like film school in a way. This PDF is like a film school in, in its own in, in, in the I was in the palm of your hand, but in your in your flash drive, basically. Yeah, yeah. It teaches you everything you need to know about all the different like technical stuff and creative stuff, but mainly the technical side and business side and everything. Like you're gonna learn all of that stuff. That's probably the only book I will read. It's 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 perfect, man. Like it'll help you learn so much and especially for YouTube, because I mean, uh, Jacob Owens, he's a YouTube guy. He's he's uh I mean, I would say he's a yeah. I mean, yeah, he's a YouTube guy mainly, but he's like one of my one of my bigger influences as a filmmaker when it comes to like music videos and like YouTube business, like how he strategizes his stuff. It's perfect in my opinion. Um, so definitely read that, take a chance to look at it. Another thing I could give you, I could give you the PA handbook, which I I haven't even read this, but my cousin who's uh, lives in San Francisco, mm -hmm. he he he, uh, he lives in or he's the one who sent me this, which. The PA handbook, like I said, when you actually get on set, when you get on set in certain places, 
you're gonna you're gonna start off as a production assistant. You know what I mean? You're gonna start off at that smaller level. Mm -hmm. um, and like right from the get go, basically, uh, you know, that PA handbook is gonna help you kind of realize like what you should do as a PA. Like, you know, the right kind of coffee to brew. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it has that in there, but you know, that kind of stuff is how to. Uh, how to work as a PA, especially if you like plan to like be a filmmaker in America and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're definitely gonna want to know that, you know, yeah. know all that stuff. Especially like on USC, they'll, they'll probably have, you know, full sale. I was a PA, I think, a couple times on some sets. I think I can't really remember, but um, it's just good to have all that knowledge. Like, you know, it, honestly, filmmaking, you know, and, and 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 this is something more for the vlog talk, but like filmmaking, honestly, like film is one of those things where it's like you kind of if. if a lot of people don't even go to film school, like Quentin Tarantino. You know Quentin Tarantino, yeah, of right? Course. One of the greatest film directors of all time. He dropped out of high school. Like he dropped yeah. out of uh -huh. high school. I know. You know, and then there's tons of other like directors and other filmmakers. I'm sure that dropped out of high school, never even went to film or film school in college, and they're like at a huge level. It's really just all the info, like YouTube and Google. That's like a lot of your your actual like knowledge now to learn. Me, what I went to film school for, and I didn't realize it until after, not when I say after, but until, um, <clears throat> really, yeah, really until after, is like the networking. Film school, you go to film school for the network, for the people you know, and honestly, that's how you get jobs on, um, like on those sets, is when you actually just go there to network and, and meet people. Like, like I said before, like you could be working with Steven Spielberg's cousin or something like yeah. that, you know, and then that leads you to a job on one of Steven Spielberg's films or whoever else's film. So it's like, it's all about networking. It's, it's not always about like, oh, I need to learn this, that, that. I mean, yeah, you're gonna learn a lot of stuff. Like when I went to film school, it was like, a, it was like, it was like a double-edged sword for me. It was like, all right, I'm going to actually learn a lot of stuff that I probably would have never learned or never even wanted to learn on my own. And, you know, I met tons of great people who I consider, you know, best friends, great friends, you know, long life, you know, friends, that kind of stuff. Um, that I, you know, when they have a job or when I have a job of some sort, I'm gonna bring them on and then, you know, that, that domino effect kind of just continues down the line, you know. Mm -hmm. um, well, sometimes, like, in this videography and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I mean, you can study for it, but you also have, kind of, have it in your own, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, for me, when I first started, like I said, all I knew about was cameras a little bit, and, then, and not that much. Like, I kind of, see, it's funny, like, I started getting the cameras a lot more, like, maybe my junior year, maybe senior year, mm -hmm. and then I started to learn more about cameras, started to learn more about the Reds, the Aries, the Black Magic cameras, you know, all that, Sony cameras, Canon, everything. So I just started to learn more about the, can the camera side, the technical side, and the creative aspect of, um, of directing and writing. I'm all, writing, I've always been into writing. Writing, that's, that's like one of the first real things that got me into films, just creating my own little stories, you know, and calling them movies, you know, knowing, yeah. knowing in my head that I didn't really know what the hell they were. But, um, you know, definitely it, it kind of just was like, you know, I just had to take the time to research some things and then um, that kind of stuff. Like I said, so you have a whole summer, basically. Do mm -hmm. uh, you know when you actually like start up school again? Um, I start up school probably on early September. Mm. Okay. Maybe. Oh like damn! Early September. That's kind of like a spot. You guys got a long break then. That's that's <laughs> usually longer than uh. That's longer than I think the in America. Like the kids will have to go back to school like in August uh -huh. sometime. You know? Maybe when I came here uh, yeah. this summer, my friends were like having fun in clubs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I was your study. Oh man, yeah, that sucks. Like. Well, at least you have a long break, you know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah, so yeah. you know, and you said it's a shorter time. Matter of fact, tell the vlog like tell them how because you said that. They gotta go. They gotta go to year. Go to school. Five, high school in five for five years, right? Five years. That's crazy. And what you said, you guys get out of school earlier or something. I, what are the changes uh, compared to you know school in Italy compared to school here in America? So first of all, I think American school is structured better. Like really? I like the thing that your guys move from other classes. We okay. had we stay in the same class the whole for, time for five years. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, so how does that work? So like. You guys stay in the class for five. So what class? Like, what class do you have for that whole five years? Like, that's kind of weird. Teachers change classes. No oh. students. Oh, so wait. Okay, so you're in one particular class, and then you have a math teacher come in, then an English teacher come uh -huh. in, or something like that, or not an English teacher, but yeah. <laughs> that English teacher in Italy. But uh, that's kind of crazy. That's actually 
kind of. I feel like that wouldn't. Nah, that would be boring for kids uh-huh. in America. Kids yeah. in America, we'd hate that. But like, that would be boring. I mean, did, did it work for you though? I mean, that has it worked for a lot of kids in Italy? I guess. I mean, I guess I have to. But yeah. <laughs> but I feel like American one is way better for yeah. like this thing. And I feel like our school is way more difficult. Like guys, yeah, yeah. don't go study in Italy. Stay here if you're. <laughs> Yeah, trust me. I don't think any, I don't, there's not a lot of smart kids at Angola High School. It's that not that. It's, it's not that. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that's uh, no. Nah, that's that's kind of interesting. I mean, I, that's so like literally through like from freshman year to like your senior year, you've had the same classroom. Uh, I, mean, I mean, is there like is there like more than one classroom? Is it like is it like do you guys have like huge like a whole bunch of kids in one class? Or? Um, no, no. It's more like we have twenty kids. Okay, in, in each classroom. Yeah, in each classroom. And okay, it's not the same class every year. Yeah. But for the like, we have the same class for the whole year. Mm. So maybe in the second year of high school, we change class. Mm. But I mean, it's, it's just because maybe the new freshman class has more kids than us. Yeah. So they need a bigger class. Yeah. Okay. So they took ours. For that's example. interesting. You know, so that's cool. I mean, I guess so. One class will have like a like a science class, and then the other one. We'll start off with like a math class, right? And then that kind of thing. Then they'll kind of like switch between the classes. It's like we have five hours. Of, mm. we, we, we go to school at eight o'clock in the morning mm. and we get out at one o'clock. Mm. Yeah, and that's a big difference too. We See, that could, like in Angola we had, or in America, like most kids will have to go to school at like eight and then most kids will get out at like two or three o'clock, mm-hmm. you know, and that kind, of, that kind of thing. I mean, okay, so for you being a, an exchange student, here in, in America, I mean, what I guess, tell me, tell me one of the positive changes that, like, something that something that's better than how you were, I guess, like the school or just natural life, you know, you know, normal life that you had went through in a, in Italy, and then tell me, I guess, like one negative that you had here that that you didn't like compared to certain things in Italy. Uh-huh. Tell me the positive first. So the positive is sports, school sports. I yeah. love school sports. Cool, he's a basketball player, you can tell. I mean, well, I'm gonna have, <laughs> have to get a shot of him when he's like standing up, he's a tall kid. <laughs> you know, so basketball for sure. He, he's like the, the Italian Michael Jordan now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, what are you saying? Um, negative, okay, I mean, I like sports. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it makes you, first of all, go to school. Yeah. Because if you don't practice, you don't compete. <laughs> right. Yeah, so you gotta sure. go to school. Was, uh, the, was the sports bad in Italy or? And no, we have clubs. We don't. Have oh, sports. you guys are like okay, really? Oh, uh-huh. yeah, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. So I feel like it's more like actually you have also bigger crowds that go yeah. to sports, and it's more exciting. In in America. Yeah, right, here in America, yeah. it's more exciting. And okay. negative thing. Uh, maybe the food. Ah, see, I was about to ask. <laughs> how is the food compared? I mean, do you? I mean, what like what is your, what is your favorite like place here to eat uh, in, in Angola? Probably Pizza King. Mm, yeah, Pizza I King's like amazing. Pizza King, yeah. Pizza King is great. Um, or beat ups. Beat ups. Ah, be, see, beat ups to me, but I like I don't really like wings like that. Like a whole like not like crazy spicy wing stuff, but like mm-hmm. Buffalo Wild Wings is the most overrated place I think when it comes <laughs> to wings. I mean, everybody likes it because it's like it's like. Like kids in high school, usually when after like a sports game, they always go out to beat ups. Yeah. Usually after and stuff, and it's like a nice little hangout spot for some people. But I, I hate the beat ups at Angola. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was gonna say it straight up. But anyway, like, okay, the food. I mean, dang. I mean, is the food like? I get. I mean, Italian food is good. But um, have you tried like actually any some like Italian restaurants here at all? Um, I, they told me there's Caruso's, but I've never been. Oh, uh, you never been to Caruso? Caruso's is no. pretty good. Caruso's is pretty good. Um, have you ever been to Olive Garden? You ever heard of Olive Garden? I heard of it, but I've never been there. Yeah, Olive Garden. That was like it didn't seem popular anymore. But Olive Garden was like a was like a I guess like a popular spot like when I was in high school. It didn't seem that popular anymore. But all right, so I'm trying to think um, what else. Like my my house mother, she's pretty good at cooking. Yeah, yeah. And so I like that. But mm-hmm. the thing is more, I feel like I'm eating too much like fat stuff. Right, yeah, that's America for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, I know. We, we, love to, we love to indulge ourselves in just the worst things for us. Even if you I'm know. so skinny, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm um, trying to think what else compared to America or compared to Italy. You know, see what your opinion is. I'm, I'm like the, the city in general. Like, mm-hmm. for example, we, you guys have a car when you're 16. Mm-hmm. 
we have to wait until we're 18. Mm, yeah, that's kind of why. Why is that? Is it because like there's a lot? Lot. So I guess the law is a little different. Um, how? What about the traffic? I don't. I don't know. You have. Yeah. Where? Where? What other cities have you visited? Didn't you like visit like Chicago, New York, um, and stuff like that? I went to New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and I've been to Michigan for a Michigan game. Yeah. But nothing much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Michigan. Man, we don't like universities. <laughs> exactly. But uh, okay, dang. So you went to. Shoot, I've never been to New York or L.A. I've been to Chicago plenty of times. <laughs> Both traffic. I, I, tr Chicago's traffic is horrible, but I imagine I've heard LA has like some of the worst traffic in the world. Actually, actually, New York. Really? Well, yeah, I, New York for sure too. I found New York like I've been there in 2000. I mean, I've been there this year, mm -hmm. almost in 2012. Yeah. I remember going out the plane. Yeah. Have a car, and we, the the hotel was like pretty close. To yeah. The we took like three hours to go to the hotel. It was oh terrible. My gosh, in New York, like like driving there, like driving there. Uh, was see, terrible. and that's and you know it's it's funny because like when I went to Chicago, uh, like I realized that a lot of people will walk. Uh, I want to shout out my friend Esther. My she's a photographer in Chicago, and like like I went, I drove down to Chicago. It was only three hours from here, and then like when I drove there, like I you know stayed at my aunt's house or whatever, and like. Uh, like they didn't want me to drive downtown because it was like such horrible traffic so a lot of people were walking and taking the train and stuff mm -hmm. so I had to take the train for like the first time in downtown <laughs> Chicago I was a little like eh, I don't know if I want to take the train there's crazy people on the train maybe more crazy people on the train in New York <laughs> uh, but yeah that's why a lot of people walk because it's like the traffic's horrible man and I couldn't imagine staying sitting in my car for like an hour because you're stuck like, and it's just in one long line like I, yeah, I couldn't do that, man. That's that's something else. But in Rome, it, like if you go to Rome, yeah, it's like crazy. They're like people are crazy. Oh my god, is the traffic bad? Like driving wise, or it's just bad, 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 oh, bad. I can imagine. Like, yeah, I've always wondered what the traffic would be like in other like countries. Now I know in like China and Japan and like especially China, like their highways is like ridiculous. Like they, you know, they have a lot, of, mm -hmm. some of the most population in the world, but like. I, I don't know. I mean, how, uh, is there like tra I, I don't in Venice, for instance. Like, yeah. is there like traffic there? Is it just all like that waterway kind of stuff? I've been there. I've been yeah. in Venice, and you have to leave the car out of the city. Really? So there's a park. There's a parking lot. Yeah, yeah. It's a big one, and yeah. you gotta put the car there, and then you go inside the city, and you can either take like a mini boat and yeah. go in like an actual city, or you can you can walk. Okay. T typically, people walk. Yeah. Because it's beautiful. Right. Yeah. For sure. And Shoot, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but there there are like buses, there are yeah, boats. Yeah. Okay. They're, ta they're like actually. Um, like taxi boat kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. It's pretty cool. Man, that's I, I gotta. I mean, I gotta get a, a passport and head out there, man. <laughs> it's so expensive. I mean. Yeah, I, I, I mean, imagine. They're living so expensive. Like really? a coffee is twelve bucks. Really? <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> well, I mean, I imagine that the the the, the amount of current—I don't know what the the difference in the amount of currency is compared to America to Italy. I don't know if America is maybe more or is it—I don't know. Have the you, euro worth more. Is worth more? Okay. Yeah, so so yeah, it's one, even way more expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Woo, man, that's crazy. Yeah, that would be that that that's something else because like. See, I have a cousin who lives in Spain. She lives in. Mm. She's she's dating this basketball player oh, who plays cool. across the seas and stuff. And like they live in Spain and stuff. And like, I don't. Is Spain is Spain close to Italy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been to Spain before? That's uh, actually uh, probably the only place I've never been like Europe. Really? Yeah. yeah. Italy, like, or not Italy, but Spain seems cool. Um, yeah. What all, what other countries have you actually been to? Uh, France, Germany. In Netherland, Ireland, England. <laughs> Which one did you like the most out of all those? Uh, I loved England. I went to London. Yeah. And it's really elegant. I oh, like yeah, it. Yeah, I imagine. Royal. Yeah, yeah like that it. kind of thing. Yeah, uh -huh. they got the the royal wedding. Did you, <laughs> did you watch the royal? Everybody's watching. I didn't watch. It. I didn't watch. I yeah, okay. get good. Yeah, because a lot of people love that royal wedding. It's mainly the girls like the royal. royal I mean, weddings. yeah. I mean, yeah. the the, um, the new. Princess, I don't know. Right, yeah. She's pretty exactly. cute. Yeah. Other than that, it's like, yeah, you know, I'll see some stuff on Twitter. I'm, uh -huh. I'm not gonna turn on the TV. And she wasn't. She away. was on Suit. You know the um, TV show. Oh, yeah. At least an Italian Suit. It's called. Uh, I think. Yeah, I heard that she was on a show. I, just, I just didn't know what like show it was. It's like a lawyer show. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I saw all the. Huh. Good for good for the royal the royal uh, 
the royal couple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good for them. Okay, how was Germany? Did you like Germany a lot? Oh yeah, we. I went to Monaco, mm. and I went to the um, soccer stadium. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's really cool in Monaco mm. because you see actually, how can I say, artists in the street. Mm. While in Italy they they're not I like accepted. Mm-hmm. People don't like them. Right, yeah. Monaco are really like famous and it's really cool because they have a lot of cool shows. Mm-hmm. Like there are musicians, there are right. magicians and yeah, stuff. All kind of stuff. It's really yeah. cool. Um have you like been to any like places like in Asia or like Africa or like um no those kind of... I have a cousin that works in Africa. Mm, really? But That's cool. yeah, she but I never been there. Yeah. I Japan Japan is where I wanna go visit like the most. Like Japan is uh, I think I had said this before, I think, but Japan is like one of the one of my big influences is how I became a filmmaker too. I mean that's Godzilla from Japan, you know, Japan. Anime, you know, is, is Japan Japanese originated, that kind of stuff. So uh, that's cool. I mean, so I guess what is the best memory you've had here in Angola? Like what in, in this small because like going like what, what actual like city or where are you from in Italy? Uh, it's called Viterbo. Viterbo? Uh huh. Oh, that's Viterbo. pretty good. Yeah, Viterbo. <laughs> Is it like big at all? Um, like big, small? It's medium size, small, okay. medium. It's next to Rome. It's like okay. about an hour from Rome. That's not bad. And it's a medieval town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you told me that. That's and cool. actually, no one knows that, but the Pope used to live in my town before living in Rome mm. in the 1300. Oh, and man. then he transferred over there. Okay, Viterbo, all right, got uh-huh. some history to it. A lot of movies were filmed there. Really? Okay. M- my house is in one of the TV show on Netflix. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, man, okay, that's pretty cool, man. Uh-huh. I mean, so, like, moving from Viterbo to <laughs> Angola, <laughs> Indiana, like, I mean, like, what has been the best memory here? What is, I mean, what is, what is, what is one thing you uh, appreciate about this small town? Because, I mean, it is a very small town. Angola is, and uh, you know it's 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 something. Let's just say that. What did you? What was your best memory? I mean, I love all the people I met. Mm-hmm. So I feel like Angola's people are really friendly. Yeah. Some, uh, most most <laughs> people. Most people. At least, at least you're like you know. At least you're with you're with some people that will like you know take you show you to the right uh, the right people that kind of mm-hmm. thing. Because um, man, I mean, was. For me, I guess in Angola, like it, de- yeah, it kind of depends. You know, if you if you get around specific people and, and stuff, and, and they, you know, that's when. Because I always say that you you are who you hang around. You know what I mean? Like, especially at your age, man, this is definitely something to, to, to take you know to you know to, to take heed of. Because you know when you're around the wrong people for a, a certain amount of time, or just you know a little you know even if it's like for the tiniest amount of time, I mean that some people really can put an influence and an impact on you to change how you act or how you react to things and stuff. So it's, it's good that you're, you know, with uh, your host mom and you're around some good friends at school and you, know, you played sports and stuff around, you know, mm-hmm. uh, cool coaches and stuff. Just to put you in a good path because you don't want to be around like hoodlums and, you know, uh, people who don't do anything good, uh, you know, around town because it can change you. I- I've seen I've seen tons of people who went to Angola who are, you know, doing crazy things because they're around specific people and it's just it's shaped it shaped them to be you know who they are now mm-hmm. but um yeah so we'll continue though what you're saying so i know like my fairy memory is i think prom Pro- yeah uh-huh. prom king is i i, I have to show you the blog man because yeah, i put the i put a picture of you and the prom king on there uh, um yeah man that's cool i mean prom because you guys you said you don't have prom in Italy, right? we don't have prom we don't have yeah. dances and stuff uh, that's crazy so no, yeah. So what's like what's all right? What's fun to do like in school in Italy then? I mean, nothing. you guys ain't got no nothing. none of that. <laughs> nothing. Oh man, oh, shoot. You guys got nothing. Like so, no. That's kind of crazy. There's no dances. There's no like actual um, school sports. There has to be something fun to do in school. In I Italy. mean, I don't know if I should tell this, but my mom won't see this video. Like, <laughs> but, but like we have clubs. Yeah. And. Actually, clubs where we go dance, not play okay. sports. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but they're not really to the school. Okay. But they're cool, like school parties. Yeah. Because like clubs for like kids, like uh, 16, 18, that kind of thing. Uh, also older, I mean, Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's just about like we go. Right, because right. We want to I mean, hey, man, it's it's all good. Cause look, when I was your age, man, see, like when I was his age, me, like, I didn't really go out to a whole lot of club, like. 
Okay, when I went out to, when I lived in Orlando, when I went to, you know, lived in Florida for school and everything, like, when I first got there, I didn't know anybody, but then when I started to know people, you know, I, I, I hung around a crowd that, they weren't bad, but they did, they, you know, they probably experienced more, like, partying and, and that kind of stuff than I did, maybe, yeah. I don't know. But I went out and stuff, I mean, it's, I mean it's, you know, it's all for the experience, like, shoot, Memorial Day weekend, um, I went out to, you know, to a place called Club Paradise, like, last yeah, it was on Saturday, and that was kind of fun, you know. Um, but you know, you're, you're a kid. You're, you're like you're gonna go through and have that kind of fun, that kind of stuff. It's mm-hmm. all good. But um, that's kind of interesting, though. That like Italy, like schools, I guess wouldn't have dances. Or... I wanna, I wanna change. I mean, I would like to. We have like you guys, a student that represent all the other students. Oh, like the student president, and exactly that kind of stuff. And you guys have like valedictorian and that kind of stuff too. What is that? Valedictorian. So valedictorian is like the person who has like the highest GPA. I think. I think that's what it is. I might be completely wrong, but the highest GPA of like everyone in their in their class, basically. And then you have like the salutatorian, which is like I think like second, I believe. Mm-hmm. I know there's some more like stipulations that go within that, but I. I don't know. Um, we don't. I mean, we they're not actually. They like don't like represent. Or they don't like I guess showcase that. Yeah, I feel yeah. like. I think that might just be an American thing. I don't know. <laughs> and I feel it it's probably pretty, is. It's pretty good, I think, because I yeah. mean, if someone is a hardworking guy and it's like having all good grades, I feel like you should recognize them. Yeah. Yeah, so. for sure. It's something, man. I don't know. It's definitely definitely pretty cool. Little. Uh, uh, it's cool that you got to experience stuff in Italy. Um, and whatnot, but I wanted to put him on the vlog because he's going home June fifteenth mm-hmm. or June twelfth, um, and whatnot. I'll try to give him his last recording on on his graduation party for the vlog. This is gonna be for the new episode of like fourteen or something. Um, so, um, any last words you want to say to the wonderful people on the vlog and at you know from Stefan Vlogs and SW Films? Any message you want to give to the people? So, first of all, put a like. Yes, like, subscribe. like, subscribe. That's the biggest. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. You guys, you know, you guys want to be notified when, when Francisco, Francesco, <laughs> is on the st- is on the screen. So, uh, first of all, I feel like that's a message to American people. Mm. Like, travel more. Yeah. Go around. Yeah. Not just get out of this country. No, because it's. I mean, I feel like it's better in Italy because now mm. government and stuff is right, shitty yeah. in Italy. <laughs> but I mean, go visit, go find something new, yeah. make new experience. Like me, for example, I wouldn't know about this all school things, American school things, uh, if I wouldn't like mm-hmm. uh, went right. here. Exactly so, right, and I mean, travel. you know, yeah, exactly travel and just experience, you know, just just experience a new like new scenery. You know, I, I I've. Like, I haven't traveled a whole lot this year. Like, you know, I'm hoping to travel a lot more, like, this year and everything. I know when I move to California, like, it's going to be a whole, like, it's going to be a whole different environment, you know, for me and everything. I'm sure I'll be able to travel and stuff out of the country, depending on, you know, what I'm, I guess, certain productions or just, yeah. you know, just to travel in general. So, I mean, yeah, traveling is important. Any, like, message you want to give to any Italian people that are watching, you can speak in your native tongue if you'd like. <laughs> for real? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so... Per uh, chiunque stia guardando questo video, se avete... Oh, you can put like... I can so, translate yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> se avete ancora l'opportunità di fare questa esperienza, fatela assolutamente. Quindi venite qui in America, fate questo anno, è stata l'esperienza più bella della mia vita. E perché comunque la nostra scuola non ci permette di studiare anche cose differenti nel senso che abbiamo matematica, fisica e queste cose, non possiamo scegliere le nostre classi, quindi qua ci, ci stanno tantissime opportunità, quindi già venite e fate questa incredibile esperienza. Oh, awesome, I, 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 I feel like I can tell what you're saying, but I couldn't. <laughs> awesome, I, I like that though, that's awesome, that's awesome. So like I said, I'll have him in the first graduation party to record, you know, do some stuff with the vlog, but other than that, Thank you, Francesco. I'm glad. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you wanted to job shadow SW Films. I hope, I hope that I've done a great job to teach you some things and get you prepared and stuff for, for everything. Um, and uh, we will definitely hope to see you again on the vlog, for sure. Thank you for asking me, dude. Boom, boom.